Hey guys, my name is Jessie and I'm from the store Sephora Hollywood and Highland. And today it's all about natural beauty. I hope you are excited. You have been asking for it, we have heard you. This is my look for when I'm really late and I have to go to work and I have to look flawless. And I have 10 minutes, so let's get it popping. So my first step for my makeup is going to be my skincare. And the first step I got was my serum, which is the Dr. Robux Ultimate Hydrating Serum. Um, and this is exactly what the title is. It's a very hydrating, silky serum for the skin. Um, the ingredients are kept to a minimum with this brand, which is amazing. You get what you read and you don't get anything in between. So it's going to be my first step to just prep my skin and have it looking glowy and healthy all day. So I'm just going to start by using my eye cream. The cream I chose is from Youth to the People. Little fun fact about this brand, this brand is packaged, it's filled, everything is done in California. And this um, cream in specific is gonna be very anti-aging. It also has kale and aloe, so it's gonna be very great under makeup. It's not gonna feel heavy. It's almost like a gel texture. A little bit goes a long way. So next for my last step on skincare and to begin makeup, I'm just gonna get to apply my Bosha Subaki Swirl hydrating cream this is amazing you have to try it out it smells amazing it feels amazing and what you cannot see um, maybe in detail it's that this cream is a swirl it literally looks like there's a flower inside of this little gem it is part gel and part cream this is going to deeply hydrate as you guys know the subaki line is their most hydrating line on the brand so if you have any dry skin or even oily skin skin get to do this this is a great skin for all skin types give it a try so let's talk business it's time for makeup and we're gonna start prepping with the milk blur stick so this is a primer that comes in a stick it is very easy to use you can get to either swipe it on your face or swipe it around your fingers the idea is to warm it up gets to give you that soft baby skin look but it doesn't get to mattify you so this is beautiful for all skin types too as well Again, I only put it on the areas where I need it. I don't go crazy um, around my face because I just need it in some couple of areas. I always like to target my primers. So for my foundation, I'm gonna be using the Sunshine Skin Tint Foundation from Milk. I'm gonna be applying it with the number 47 brush. This is perfect because it's obviously it's vegan. It's gonna have SPF 30. My foundation is gonna be the color light. The reason why I chose this foundation is because when you apply it on, it tends to oxidize a little bit on my skin, but it's because of the protection of the sunscreen. So this gets to be really nice and beautiful when it gets to blend into the skin. It just looks like there's nothing in it and it's perfect because it just gets to color correct everything flawlessly and effortlessly while also hydrating your skin and giving you that nice glow for that just woke up like this. Hashtag look. So now that I'm going to be using um, powder, blushes, and bronzers, I'm going to get to set my makeup up with um, the Iliad um, Fade Into You Soft Focus Finishing Powder. And the brush I'm using to smooth over the Fade Into You by Iliad is going to be the Sephora Collection Number 59 Powder Brush. This powder is everything. It's super um, soft, it's gentle, it doesn't create any texture. It just sets everything down. Now the trick is, when you get that setting powder, on your brush make sure you really dust it off that you don't have too much because if you put too much powder it's just gonna make you look like you have too much on the skin and it's just gonna create texture and you don't want that so a little bit goes a long way for everyone out there that wants to have clean makeup gluten free um, cruelty free vegan this is gonna be it so for my blush I'm gonna be using Antonym the certified organic bake blush this brand is organic and certified too as well um, what I love about it is that the blush it's in a nice beautiful natural color it's a, the shade peach and this blends beautifully on the skin as you can see it's almost effortless you can get to um, pack it on it gets to look natural it doesn't get to look crazy colored the pigments are just perfect it's not too much pigment it's not too little pigment it's just the right amount of pigment you need to go out I'm obsessing over this brand I do know it's a small brand right now hit in Sephora but I'm obsessed with it and I do think it's gonna be a big hit for you clean lovers for those makeup girls that love having a little bit of more clean makeup so for my next step, I'm going to be using a bronzer from Lila B. Please excuse my heavy, thick Puerto Rican accent if that um, it's confusing to you guys. 
I'm just gonna go over with the same 59 brush. This bronzer, it's everything. It's dual, it has a side that is gonna have a little bit of shimmer and the other side is gonna be matte. It, it feels so luxurious with it on my hands. It is sort of like a pebble and this bronzer will never, never break. I swear it's so, like the hard case, it's so luxurious and so hard, it's beautiful. I just feel like the happiest human being right now with this. I wanna take it home with me, I think I will. As I told you guys, I am a big lover of this brush. I just go over and pretty much swipe the color in and I'm just gonna put it on the highest points of my face to bring that sun kiss look because you guys know I've been working nonstop and I have not gone to the beach yet and I, I am still pale. A little bit on my hairline because I wanna fake it real good so you can see that I have a little bit of tan. So I'm gonna remind you guys that this is the makeup when we we're late, right? So for my eyeshadow, I'm gonna be using the same blush and bronzer. Um, first, I'm gonna be using the Antonym um, Peach Blush and I'm just gonna get to put it all over my eyelid. And it's just gonna be with the number 15 brush from Sephora Collection, it's a small shadow brush. Also, I'm gonna get to take a little bit of that um, peachy blush under my eyes, but it's just because I wanna create that nice, soft, sultry look. Instead of getting to have a top heavy color on the top only and nothing on the bottom, I'm just gonna get to pretty much do a 360 with the product. Also, the moment we all been waiting for, it's how I contour my nose with that Lila bronzer I was talking to you about. I'm gonna be using the same brush. I'm keeping it simple for you guys. So it's just gonna be a little bit on the sides of my nose, nothing too crazy. I don't wanna get to look cut and snatched to the guts. I just wanna keep it simple today. So it's gonna be a little bit on the, uh, over the nose area on the sides and under the nose so I can get to create that perkiness. And it's pretty much it. I'm just using a little bit of product to enhance a little bit my features. So for my mascara, I'm gonna be using Tarte's Light Camera Lashes. This mascara is everything. It's formulated without parabens, it doesn't have mineral oil, it's cruelty free, it doesn't have phthalates. It's perfect. Um, as you can see, there's no way of applying mascara that is wrong. You will always have a little bit of mascara on your makeup because if you're in a hurry, that's life and that's how you pay back your karma. So I'm um, just getting to add a little bit of my lower lash line. I'm a big lover of mascara under my lash line. I feel like it gives me that eye-opening look. Oh, oh, oh God, oh God, once. I told you, I'm paying karma. There it is, right there. So for my um, highlighter, I'm gonna be using the RMS Beauty Living Luminizer. This brand was inspired by a makeup artist. This doesn't have too much shimmer, it's just, hydrated enough to give you that healthy, beautiful glow. It's gonna be added onto my high points of my face, so my cheeks, my lips, my nose. So for my eyebrows, I'm just gonna be combing them through. I, I am not gonna use any products today for my eyebrows. I know, I know, it's, it's okay, I will live through it. Remember, we're late and we want to make it happen. I have chosen um, the Axiology Lip Color in Attitude. This is perfect. This brand is all natural. It's gonna be vegan. It's gonna be cruelty free. And the great thing, if you get to see the packaging in store, go crazy, because it's 100% recycled, handmade paper by women artisans in Bali. So shout out to my people in Axiology for making this little chic, sustainably sexy packaging. This is beautiful, it's organic, it's clean. It's a small brand, but I do feel like they're gonna take over soon, so get your hands on it because this color is everything. So for my pick-me-up step, I'm gonna be giving a little bit of volume and texture to my hair by using the Briogeo Scalp Revival. This baby, it's made out with charcoal and biotin, so it's gonna be great to give your hair that pick-me-up, to nourish it enough and to even exfoliate it a little bit so your hair can grow faster and stronger. I feel like it's just everything. It gives me that volume. It doesn't feel dry. Um, something I get from my dry shampoos is that it's a little bit dry and it feels textured. This is not it. This just gets to take in the moisture of the hair and just pretty much makes it tousled and sexy and ready to go. So for my very, very last step, we have reached our perfume moment. Um, this, it's amazing, guys. This perfume is from Ellie's Brooklyn. It's called Rose. Say with me, Rose. It has two R's. Um, it's a perfume. 
This is very luxurious. This is great because it doesn't have any tallates. It won't have also any parabens. This is the greatest way to just enjoy a clean fragrance without sacrificing the luxurious feeling of it. If you get to try it, please, please leave your comments below on how you feel about it. I am obsessed. So this is it guys, this is the final product. I hope you love this look. If you want, please feel free to leave comments down below and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to go into sephora.com and download that virtual artist on your phone so you can get to know a little bit about our brands. And well, that's a wrap. Let me know how you love it, recreate it, post it on the beauty board, get it going. See you soon.